Hello, if this message found you, I'm hoping it's meant for you. So I did get my new deck, so I thought we'd see what's coming towards you. So what's happening here? So you could be working on your career right now. We have get to work, new job, focusing on finances. So you could be really working on your own stability, your own career, embodying queen of pentacles, king of pentacles energy. We do have this waiting. So this card says, hold back, not budging, hang on. So for some of you, I feel like you're holding on to a person or maybe somebody's, we'll see what the tarot says, but maybe somebody's wanting to reconnect with you, but you're holding firm on your boundaries. Yeah, this person, look, we have, we have the runner. So I feel like this person ran from you before and we have ghosted. So they could have very well ghosted you in the past while triggered, running away from fears, the runner. We have ghosted, dropped off, no closure, gone silent. So again, for some of you, you could have not let go of this. You could still think about this person, still want, still care for them. But for some of you, maybe you've moved on and you're not budging. We'll see what happens. We have blockages, obstacles, delays, detours. So lots of blockages in this connection that's on your mind. This person who ghosted you. There was lots of blockages. Could have been lots of fighting. Could have been on and off. We have children, so children could be affecting this. This person, look at those eyes. This is very interesting because I'm feeling this person from your past that ghosted you. And it's like they're awakening. And we see the yin and yang in their eyes, and that's about balance. And this card says, settling down, stable, solid foundation. So you do have someone thinking about you here. This person could be watching you with this, these eyes. And we have children and pregnancy. So I feel like, I feel like this person wishes they would have built this foundation with you, that they wish they were the one that had children with you. They wish that they had settled down with you. Let's see what else. Options. This person could have treated you like an option. This person could have treated you like an option. That's that seven of cups energy. Opportunities, choices, possibilities. So the grass is always greener. That type of energy could have been a player. We have soul tie. You've met before past life karma. So I do feel like this person was meant to teach you something. I feel like for a while you looked at this person with rose colored glasses and you could have seen the red flags and ignored them because you felt this soul connection. And I think that the universe kept putting detours in your way because I don't think this person was giving enough to you. I don't think they were prioritizing you with that options. And again, I feel for some of you, you did ignore the red flags. You wanted to believe in this person. You wanted to see the good in them. Believe me, I get it. What I'm seeing is we have this person coming in here and they're coming in changed. We have change cycles, transformation. We do have somebody making an offer here, kind, considerate, attentive. So let's see what else. So there is, <clears throat> this person wants romance with you. There is, someone is coming in here. Someone who's been through this cycle they've changed this cycle whatever this cycle is they're coming in much better place so instead of this instead of this wall and these obstacles we see healthy boundaries 
And this card says, healthy, clear, communicating their needs. That's what they want here. They want to come in here and communicate these boundaries. And I believe they want you to have healthy boundaries too. Look at my neck. That's what happens when I just touch my skin. I have such, such sensitive skin. Insomnia. So look, this person can't sleep right now. Insomnia. They're drowning in thoughts of you. No sleep. Waking up in the middle of the night. They're exhausted. And look at this, signs from spirit. So they're constantly seeing synchronicities, repeating numbers, signs, your birthday number, people that look like you. We have 1111, 222, 555 could be significant. Let's get one more. So for some of you, you may reject this person. I feel like this person is terrified of being rejected by you. And we also have this, which is Spiritual Protection Crystals 444. So whatever you do here with this person, you are protected by spirit. I just dropped this whole deck on my floor. The whole thing. 52 pick up anyone? <laughs> mm, let's get this tarot deck. So this is a new tarot deck. I love it. All right, so let's see what this person wants. Temperance, healing, balance. Again, there's something about the scales being balanced here. There's something about this person wanting healing, wanting equal give and take. This is very much if you resonate with divine counterparts. This is a very divine feminine, divine masculine, the balancing of energies. This person, the chariot. This person is charging in here. Look at that. That's cancer energy. This person, forward movement. This is quick. I did a reading on YouTube today and it was like, there was so much fire in it and it was it's happening quick. <laughs> what is this chariot about? Somebody feels trapped here in their thoughts. Now, you'll see that person isn't actually trapped. They're just trapped behind a wall of swords, but they could get up and come over here and walk out. This person's overthinking this. I feel like they could have caused you to overthink a lot in this connection, actually. I think they could have really got into your head. And I feel like you still think about them. Let's see what else this person wants. The Empress. They want you. Empress. They could want to have children with you. They might already have children with you. Um, you could be a mother. This person wants your nurturing energy. That's what they want. They want to feel your energy again. They want to be in your presence again. That's Taurus and Libra. Oh my. Oh my. Look at this. We have this person putting down these burdens and coming towards you and they're coming look success we have lots of fire aries leo sagittarius we have empress libra taurus we have more sagittarius we have cancer we have now we have some water look two of cups look at that beautiful picture you could be a same-sex couple but this is about success. This is about victory. Six of Wands. They want success with you. They want that. They could want to be on social. They could want to be your significant other on social media. <laughs> they could, like, let's make it Facebook official. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> oh, this person. They miss you. <laughs> 
Look at all this fire energy, guys. Look at this. King of Wands, taking action, getting what's his. Gender doesn't matter. Getting his person, coming in with action, taking charge. This person could have been very controlling in the past. But now, what do they want? They want a mutually beneficial connection with you. That's the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups can talk about friends, but it can also talk about a mutually beneficial relationship and working together as a team to make something work. And look, we have the world on the bottom, closing out a cycle. Very interesting. Anything else, Spirit? Wish fulfillment coming in for you. So this does speak, oh my gosh. That's the 10 of cups, look at that. That's beautiful. So this is what's coming for you, wish fulfillment and 10 of cups. This is what's coming. This was the card that came out, this was on the bottom. This is absolutely beautiful. I feel like being with this person could be a wish fulfillment for you and for them. You could have children or you could be joining families together. And look, Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Look at that. Look at that beautiful earth energy there. Well, now we have counterparts, so. Now we have counterparts. Coming to get his queen. Counter this person has never lost desire for you. And I don't think you've lost desire for them. Heavy, heavy fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at them. Look at them. This is coming. This is three of wands. And look, she knows it's coming. She's just waiting for it. She's like, oh, I know he'll come. I'm just... I know it. I cannot make this up. Equal give and take. Balance. Balance restored. These readings are very... Every day. Every day they're like this. It's beautiful. Alright, let's see. I've got a new oracle deck here, so let's see. What do you need to know about this person? The first card was expression of love. So you have somebody wanting to change. You have somebody wanting to express their love. And look at this. This is that chariot I always say with the, I have a hot air balloon charm. I'm having a moment. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Um, this is someone who's changed here, and we see that. We see this is about progression, and again, I'm getting major chariot energy. This person has made a lot of changes. You could have really changed here. Let's see what else. Hmm. Forgiveness. Yep. This person needs your forgiveness. Again, we all have free will, so I'm not telling anybody that they have to forgive anyone, but this is somebody who's coming in changed, wanting forgiveness. Let's get one more. Stillness. So this is that Empress energy. Look at that, that is beautiful. That is, that could be you right now, just waiting in stillness. Attracting, that's that Empress energy. It's absolutely beautiful. Courage. This person is trying to find the courage to come forward here. They're trying. They are trying their best. All right. So we're going to do letters and charms. Letters and charms. Oh my. Sorry if that's loud. It's so loud. All right. So we have P, S, F, 
U, Q, B, X, K, N, N, W, X, D, V, O, J, I, A, Q, K, M. Let's get a couple more. I'm sorry it's so loud. U, P, Z, J, H, V, C, M. And now we'll get charms. Feather. Feather. <laughs> we have Cupid. We have an abacus, that math thing. Four leaf clover. A koi fish. Toxic. Toxic behaviors. Tree of life. The world, I'm also hearing. Christmas tree. Dog bone key. Butterfly. Butterfly. Two horsies. We have the two. Look, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> we have a bicycle. <laughs> we have two kitties. Two kitties. A key, Eiffel Tower. A boat, receiving messages, receiving news that you need. And we have a witch. So I'm gonna leave it there today. I just wanted to do a quick little one and to say hello. So hello and I'll see you next time. Bye.